This is Twit. So I have not written this article yet, but I have an article that's kind of in the process where I'm uh, that ha- that I started writing before. Uh, it was revealed that a lot of those layoffs that happened at Microsoft came out of 343 Industries, a part of uh, Xbox. That uh, the Xbox, I should say, the Microsoft Game Studio, that is responsible for Halo now. Um, and my the, where my head was at was sort of, I, I, in fact, it starts with that moment. You and I, Leo, were watching that game preview, and it was garbage. <laughs> and I and I always describe it the same way because it's perfect. I just said, you know, I, at the time I thought this game looks horrible, yeah. but they're going to pull a Wizard of Oz moment where all of a sudden it transforms into this futuristic, awesome graphics, you know, and, and it never happened. They and I didn't. thought, what is going on here? And then they delayed it for a year <laughs> right after they previewed it. And um, I knew from that moment that something was horribly wrong with this game. So and my so feeling is that it started when Microsoft bought Bungie, which made the original. Halo, That's right, Halo. Back but the then day. fired yeah. everybody. <laughs> well, I, Bungie, no, Bungie wanted to leave. Like Bungie, Bungie spun off. Wanted to go. Wanted, they wanted to go uh, private again. So they all and left. Basically, well, but Microsoft said you can leave, but you, you obviously but leave the IP Halo, with us. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So now so you have Bungie a game, proceeded to make, but no developers. Well, yeah, so they they created a studio, and I'm sure there were some people from. Bungie, who stayed because uh, they mm -hmm. wanted to keep working on Halo, maybe yeah. created this studio but called Three Forty. They've shopped it to different dev teams for yeah. years. It's been right? kind no of a two weird. Halo products was made by the yeah. same dev team, and they had There's an engine huge... that was a little apparently, according to the stories, uh, hard to work right. with. That's right. So this this is this is not the first time this notion has come up that you know should Microsoft take Halo off of their own and let's call it the Halo engine, you know, take it off of this internal thing and put it on something more popular that other people know how to work with, right? Because it's much easier to acquire talent if they know the engine you're working in. Um, I, look, you can go back but and forth. But there's a look one of the, to Halo that's different. It, that's from exactly what games. I was just going to say. That The one thing I will say about Halo Infinite is you bring that thing up, you're like, oh, nice, this is Halo. It's Halo. It's very yeah, clearly it's Halo. Own. But then again, you know, maybe that's not so good, right? I mean... Halo is also this very old-fashioned game franchise. It, it comes out every five years-ish with a new title. Um, the modern Microsoft has done a very good job with other games of keeping them fresh with new content. You know, Sea of Thieves, uh, Gears of War, many other titles. They've done great with that. Minecraft, I mean, is incredible. Um, uh, Halo got off. To, uh, Halo Infinite got off to such a bad start. Spent the first year spinning wheels trying to just get caught up with, with what they promised. For the initial release stumbled all over that there's all kinds of stuff they're not doing that they promised they would do um splits you know like split screen for example and co-op um you know they're kind of upsetting the community and now basically what they're saying is uh, actually we're starting over we're going to go uh use the unreal engine um we have far fewer employees who are working in this group um i'm sure there'll be some hiring of outside talent as well but and they'll be able to because unreal is Number yeah. one, really. But you know what? This You don't make a game like this in a year. No. This is going to be three years at least. I mean, I mean, it's... Yeah, it depends on how much you're constituting a team and what vision you have. Right? Yeah, like this is... Uh, this is... Um, Halo Infinite was already uh, such a long process, and it also leaves an open question about what happens to that game. Yeah. You know, I just sort of mentioned that they've done a really good job keeping existing games up to date. Does Halo, does, uh, Halo Infinite just sit there in the water and not get updated that much or at all now because they're working on this new thing. Well, and, and it does happen that they go back over old titles because they could just drop the data sets into the new engine once they reach yeah, the like they, Right, they could do like a Master Chief collection, yeah, they'll do a collection or something. And pull, a, yeah. pull the games up into the new engine. Yeah, but uh, that's fine. But that doesn't help the people who actually like that game today, you know, uh, that want to keep playing it and want new maps and want new content and want new whatever, you know, this yeah. season, season thing they have. If, it is not in Microsoft's best interest to make their own engine because that means you, I agree they can have to work by themselves. This is this is the chromium of uh, game engines. Yeah. This is exactly where do you want to spend the money and your resources and time, and it's not creating that. That creating an engine is stupid. No, and you could argue they could contribute to they could contribute to Unreal. They could contribute to Cry. Like there's a few yeah. other engines, and whichever right. one you pick, you're going to help a lot. Yep, because that's yep. a lot of of firepower. I just um, feel like this whole thing has to change. Like I, I don't. I'm not saying like the Call of Duty model is right because even Call of Duty's not doing the Call of Duty model this year. No, but um, but 
it's going to be very interesting. You know, it's it's a yeah. hundred million dollars to build a tier one game now, and three yeah. to four hundred people. You know, and if you're lucky, you get it done in a year and you make the deadline, right? Like it's yeah, like making lucky, a movie. I mean, it's hard it, and it's expensive. Yeah, it's a but, Hollywood blockbuster, is what it is. Yeah. But the amount of compute you've got in a, in a One S or in a PS Five, right. you need that many people to make enough assets to exercise right. that to machine to actually make it look any good. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, right. why did I buy this six hundred dollar machine? Like, make me a game that presses yeah. against the edges of the machine. Yep. Hey, I'm Rod Pyle, Editor-in-Chief of Ad Astra Magazine, and each week I join with my co-host to bring you This Week in Space, the latest and greatest news from the final frontier. We talk to NASA chiefs, space scientists, engineers, educators, and artists, and sometimes we just shoot the breeze over what's hot and what's not in space, books, and TV. And we do it all for you, our fellow true believers. So whether you're an armchair adventurer or waiting for your turn to grab a slot in Elon's Mars rocket, join us on This Week in Space and be part of the greatest adventure of all time.